Hello, my name is Ed, and I have my Linux virtual machine booted up again, and I'm going to show you how to uh, easily organize your photographs. But Ubuntu Linux comes with one called, let's see. shot well and I don't want to scroll through all those so I'll just do a search shot well photo manager so we'll start this up and uh, I copied some bunch of pictures in a folder a few pictures and uh, first time we started up it says we can import photos in any of these ways drag and drop photos or connect a camera and import okay so we have it open and as you can see there's no pictures in here so if we go to file and we'll say import from folder we have to choose the folder and I have them all located in this photos folder so I'll hit OK here and we can copy these into the library folder or it can import them without copying so what that means is if you copy them to the library folder it'll actually copy the the picture file to a different folder that Shotwell uses if we import them without copying Shotwell will look for them in the folder they're currently in so I tend to like to uh, copy photos so I'll select that option and it's going in that folder and it's just uh, imported 27 pictures I'll look one of my pictures had a tag of New York 7-eleven which is right there so if we go to last import these are uh, all the photos that we imported. If we go to events, looks like there's some pictures from 2011. And uh, some from 2012. And some from earlier this year. has two photos in it and one uh, neat thing with Shotwell is if we open up a picture we can do a little bit of editing to it if we want to we can straighten it crop it if, if it's a picture of a person with red eye this will help get rid of that adjust the color and tones and enhance will automatically enhance it and then this is forward and back so I'm going to go up here I'm just going to say undo enhance and another uh, neat thing we can do is you have a publish option if we select that we can send photos from Shotwell right to Facebook, Flickr, Picasso Web al Albums, or Piwigo. I'm not familiar with the last one. Picasso Web Albums is uh, part of Picasso. Of course, Flickr is a photo sharing site, and everyone probably knows what Facebook looks like. So, so that can be handy. Um, you can also export photos so you can say the current current format or choose a different file format and then you can say original size specify width or height and width and height and you can export the metadata now the metadata would be uh, 
any information stored in shot while associated with the photos. And we also have tags, so there's only one tag here. If we right click on tag and go new, and then we will uh, add a tag of winter because I know uh, looking through these pictures, let's go to last import, some of these pictures were winter pictures. So I'm going to hold the control key down and I'm going to go through and select all the snowy pictures. And that looks like it's all of them. I'll grab eh, that one could probably be spring. So I'm going to right click on them. I'm going to say add tags. Set tags separated by commas. Winter already pops up so we'll select that one. We'll do OK. So now these are all tagged as winter. And I have some of uh, some nicer weather. So we'll call it summer. And we're going to add tags again. And we're just going to type in summer. Now they're all tagged as summer. So now under tags, these are all of our summer pictures. <clears throat> these are all of our winter pictures. And uh, these are New York pictures. I know there's some other pictures that were taken that was f that are pictures of New York. Uh, so I'm going to select those now. Well, that's a New York picture. Well, I'll deselect that one. That's already tagged. And there's one winter one that was New York. Uh, this one's New York. And I believe that's about it. So I'm going to right click on one that's highlighted and go add tags and I'll select this New York 7-Eleven one and we'll hit OK. Now I know those winter pictures aren't in uh, from uh, July so we're going to go here we're going to say rename this tag we're going to take that off we're just going to call it New York. We'll call it Upstate New York. There. Now, all the pictures that were tagged as New York all changed to Upstate New York. And the winter ones are still winter. You know, this one looks sideways, so we'll open that up. We'll say rotate. There, now it's looking good. And we'll go back to here and here, and that is Shotwell. Um, really handy application to manage photos. Um, one of the big features I like about it is uh, if it'll if there's photos that are duplicates it will warn you about it um, so let's go here back into my photos and I'm just gonna select willy-nilly some random ones out of here just to use it as an example and I'm gonna copy them and uh, I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm just gonna call it pics and we're just going to paste them into there and say we that was a, a folder that was off of a, a thumb drive or something that had a few pictures on so we're going to go back into file we're going to go back to import from folder and we're going to select this pics folder hit OK 
and we're going to say again copy photos and it didn't import any of them because it detected they were duplicate uh, photos so we'll hit OK here so that that's a real handy feature to keep from importing duplicate photos and this is going to be the end of my video tutorial on Shotwell.